Chow. Today we will be creating an epic marriage proposal text reveal inside After Effects. I encourage you to watch the whole tutorial because you're gonna get a whole bunch of techniques in using some of these effects and features to create this animation realistically and will somehow walk you through the start and end of making these scenes completely procedural. So guys this effects can also be used or can also be applied to any of your motion graphics projects. So guys this is Randy from Ranch Graphics and let's take a closer look on what we are gonna be creating. Before we will start our first composition, I will just show you make it look like our text is engraving the texture of the background. Go to composition and new composition. I will name it Crash. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, and 10 seconds duration. I will open the assets folder, go to image, and drop down to my timeline the texture that I'm gonna be using as our background and pre compose it right away. And I will name it BG. Move all the attributes into the new composition. And I will grab the text tool, copy this one, make this font 72 pixels align it horizontally next i will grab the text tool again and go to my notepad copy this one and paste it i'm using beyond the mountain font and i will change the font size to 100 move it here and make sure it's aligned horizontally grab the text tool again and i will copy this one and i will paste it here align this horizontally Grab the text tool again, and this time I'm gonna use iCraft font, but you can use whatever font you want depending on your preferences. So I just use this one, then go back to my notepad and copy this one. Make the font size to about 200. Make sure that it's aligned, and I will just move it down a bit, and then I will highlight it all, and I will right away pre compose it, and I will name it Tile Look. and i will click ok i will double click this one open it up and this one is empty i will just delete it highlight it all press my keyboard b for position i will first arrange this one move it i think that is good go to my project and drop down the cracks press s and shift e on your keyboard for the position and scale and adjust it I want the scale to be to 50. We'll enable the proportion. Change this to about 370. I will just close this one. And then go to layer. Create a new adjustment layer. And go to effects and preset. Generate fill. I want this probably 50% gray. Click OK. So I will go back to my crush composition. All I have to do is to go to the layer. Layer styles. Inner shadow. First, I will make this composition to be multiply, then open the inner shadow. I want the angle to be 90 degrees. So I will close this one. Go back to my layer and add layer styles, bevel and emboss. Open this bevel and emboss. Change the style to outer bevel. Direction must be down. So we will close this one again. Now we will go and create a shadow look. And all we have to do is to duplicate the background. Edit duplicate it and i will pre-compose it right away and i will name it shatter move all the attributes on the new composition and click ok 
and then i will double click this one and you can see the background only here so all we have to do is to drop down on our timeline the title look and highlight the background go to track mat and change this from none to alpha mat highlight these two pre-compose it right away and i will name this shutter and move all the attributes to the new composition and click ok and go to effects and preset and find simulation shutter so if i will scrub my playhead you can see that there is a simulation here but it is wireframe so all we have to do is to change this to rendered change the shape from bricks to glass I want this to be smaller so I have to change the repetitions to probably 50 and I will also open the first one I want it only 0.2 strength I will also change the radius 0.3 and I will open the physics the rotation speed to be 1 the random mass 1 create a key on force position click here and the start move your playhead at the end scrub through the pores until the text is gone so when we play this one you can see that the animation go across the text perfect that's what we want go back in the crash so if i will scrub through my playhead you can see that there are pieces falling down so if we will turn this one off you can see the pieces only it's falling down so we will turn this back on i will double click this one and i will rename it textured map open shutter instead of all i will just render it to only two pieces so it's easier for us to see and it's easier for us to compose it later on because we will use this one later on to go to project go to shutter duplicate the shutter and i will rename it shutter activate double click this one and you can see only the texture that we made highlight this one go to fx control so i will just change the strength to zero open the force open the physics i will let this value here zero randomness zero and all other stuff in here should be zero put back the point in here go back or play it let's see what happens yeah so the animation is now activating go back to crash highlight this tile look recompose it and i will name it tile rebuild and i will leave all the attributes in that layer and i will click ok click it to open it up go to project and drop down the shutter activate here and highlight the title loop go to track mat change this from no track mat to alpha mat and that's what we want if we will go back to the crash composition So now we will go to the next i will also create a bit of a shadow in here so all i have to do is duplicate the shutter and we will choose the bottom and i will rename it shutter shadow and go to effects and preset generate and fill i will make this color black and go to effects and preset find radial blur i will change this from scratch to fading zoom i'm just gonna make it a bit smaller and i will click this center for the radial blur and i will put it really really high adjust the amount to about five so when we zoom it you can see there's a little bit of shadow in here and also i have to go back to shutter double click it i will just close some of this and i will go to lighting change this light type to first comp light make it smaller and i will go to layer and new light point light and probably this is the intensity to 50 i'm good with it and i will transfer this to really really high too i'll just press p here move this really really up high so there's a little bit of lightness in the particles that we have here so we will go back to crash So next we have to create a micro particles that's shooting out from here. So all I have to do is to go to project and I will duplicate the shutter. I will rename it 
shatter tiny particles and I will double click this one and take the light delete it highlight this textured comb go to effects control change the lighting from first comb light to distant source and go to force one change the shape first the quantity I want it really really small so probably 150 and I will change the strength to 1.7 I think that's good enough so I will close this one and go to effects and preset find simple choker I will just set this to 3 or 4 and then I will go again to effects and preset go to channel and invert change this to alpha math and then go back to effects and preset go to channel again set math and uncheck this stretch math in here and I will drop down the shutter here so I will just change the shape so instead of glass I will just change it to crescent and I will change the repetitions to about 200 and the depth extrusion I will change it to 0.5 I will just go back to 0.2 open physics i think that's good i'll just close this one go back to my crash composition open the project file and drop down my shatter tiny particles here and you will see that there are tiny particles already coming out you can hardly see but that's the tiny bits so all i have to do instead of shadow that i'm gonna have to put on my tiny particles i will go to effects color correction and curves crank it high so that it's lighter so it's really visible so we will try to scrub through if we will able to see the tiny bits crank it up a bit so that it's really really light so really it's visible that's what i want so now we will go back to project we will drop down this dust falling I will right click my mouse and transform it fit to comb and I will change the blending mode to add so we have now here a dust particle so all I have to do is to grab this shape tool make a mask on it like that open the mask here the second mask and crank up the feather and I will change this to subtract press P for the position move it down a bit here maybe and i will again duplicate this one and press p move in here drop it down i will just move this one too because it appears too early i want this to appear only when particles are falling down Again, we will duplicate this one we'll press p for the position and i will move it in here at the beginning so as the particles are coming out it begins to come out too so the second one other i will just drop it down a bit and then move it on the other side there you go so i will just skip this one guys i don't want you to wait while making this one but you can tweak for the opacity the size whatever you want that makes it look natural for you guys to make these things up okay so i will just fast forward it so that you will not wait So we are now done putting all the falling particles on its proper location so all i have to do is to go back to project file and drop down the overlay ground particles and i will change the blending mode to add and then i will scrub my playhead and see what happens here and i will 
press P on my keyboard for the position shift S for scale I have to move it on the left side and I want to make it stretch like that and I want the particles fall already before the impact happens I will just move this a bit there you go let's see what happens perfect we will just adjust this stretch it further there you go and then drop down again my voltage here and I will duplicate it five times arrange it here just like that I will highlight all and make this blending mode add press T for opacity and shift P for position on my keyboard from the bottom I will put my plate here so you can see the smoke in here I will move it down and probably just move this on the left side and I will move it down a bit change the opacity to about 50% and then go my playhead to the second one move it down a bit and then move it on the left side again not too much on the left side that's good enough and then I will move my playhead on the third one to drag it down and change the opacity to probably 80% and I will move again my playhead forward and I will drop down the smoke wave here move it on the right side there and move it down a bit and then move forward my playhead and move this layer here and I will again move it down move it on the right side and change the opacity to 50 percent i'm just gonna close this once and i will highlight all the dust pre-compose it it's cleaner to see and i will rename it dust falling or just dust that's it and i will click ok so you can see here it's clean so all we have to do is to just toggle this one enable the collapse transformation switch so we will play again there you go but it's up to you if you will tweak the effects on the dust opacity the scale the position it's up to you guys so now we are done with our scene one all we have to do close this folder here in my project and create a new folder name it scene 1 I will highlight all the compositions in here and I will put it on the scene 1 folder so we will play this one and let's see I'm quite comfortable with it so so we are done now with our tutorial and I hope guys that you learn from it and don't forget to subscribe and smash the button like if you want comment down below and press the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos I'm gonna be uploading so that you will be the first one to be notified thank you guys for watching and God bless.